In this video, I'll be taking you guys on a Japanese Kit Kat journey, tasting some regional and seasonal limited flavors. So be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Snack Attack. Today I'll be tasting a few different kinds of Kit Kats um, from Japan and uh, they are actually limited uh, in season or they are regional limited. So if you haven't checked out my last Kit Kat video, please make sure to uh, check it out. Uh, I'll drop the link up in the top corner there. Um, and if you actually enjoy my videos, please remember to drop some comments here and uh, remember to click that like and subscribe button. So let's get on with today's menu, shall we? So first, before we begin, um, I have a drink here with me to uh, wash down the Kit Kats and, uh, you know, in between. And so today I have Kagome's seven different kinds of fruits and this one is a spring edition. So it says uh, spring fruits in a bottle. So this one actually has, um, I think, apples, uh, grapes, peach, mango, banana, uh, cherry and a little bit of flavoring so this is actually uh, made from concentrate I guess and so yeah so let's give this one a taste Ooh, extendable straws look at this Ooh, ha. and it is bendy yeah, I'm easily amused All right, let's see here. It's kind of sweet for me, but it's actually really tasty. Mm. I taste the mangoes and cherries, definitely. Um, yeah, I don't know, like there's definitely peaches in there. It's quite tasty and refreshing. I really do like it. Now, as far as whether it has spring elements to it, um, I'm not sure because uh, I I personally don't really know what sort of fruits uh, spring brings because you know where I'm from here in Canada um, we don't really get fruits or good fruits besides the basic apples oranges and bananas so cherries are kind of a treat and they can get quite expensive so yeah but you know, it's it's a tasty juice. Um, I just spot it because, um, and I haven't seen it before. So, so I'll be drinking this in between. Um, so, let's start with our first Kit Kat. Okay. So first we have uh, this one Kit Kat, and uh, I don't think I really know how to pronounce this one, but it's actually. A uh, Kit Kat flavor with the Ichimi spice. Um, so, Ichimi spice is just kind of like a chili pepper, uh, a Japanese chili pepper. And this one is regional limited. Uh, regional limited to, I believe it's the place is called Shinshu in Japan. And from this shop, um, I do not know how to pronounce the the kanji is pretty complicated to me, so um, I'll figure it out and put it in in the in the tag or in the bottom screen there for you guys to refer to. So um, yeah, this one smells chocolatey. Okay. So this one is coated in dark chocolate or milk chocolate, I should say. Um, brown chocolate so it's a yeah it's a milk chocolate one rather than a white chocolate um, I can't really smell anything besides chocolate at this moment oh. mm. Mm. first I get that chocolate flavor kind of overpowering and now the spice hits oh <coughs> it's not that spicy it's just the spicy the kind of spicy that makes you choke a little yeah mm. 
it's, it's surely different. Um, it's not bad, but you know, kind of it, it kind of grows on you. Mm. 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 I'm just waiting for that spice to choke me again. Oh my god. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm, the afterburn. Oh man, more juice. <clears throat> okay. Okay, next one. Um, next one I have is uh, orange. Uh, what no? Chocolate orange. So chocolate orange. Um, if you saw my last video, I had a different kind of orange one. It, it was the Eokan orange and that was a white chocolate um, orange, like a specific type of orange that's kind of more so of a Japan pr produce specialty. This one though, is it's a uh, milk chocolate orange. So um, I'm expecting it to taste kind of like the uh, Terry's orange chocolate if you usually uh, if you see those around Christmas time um, that's what I'm expecting mmm it does smell of like oranges like that cherry's chocolate and the orange flavor is really coming out a um, little bit of that bitterness from the orange and mmm it's kind of surprising because um, usually with the milk chocolate ones, um, I find the the chocolate flavor kind of overpowers the the flavors quite a bit. But not in this case. It's actually quite a nice balance. Um, you get you get hit with the orange flavor first, and then the chocolate flavor kind of slowly expands in your mouth. So it's it's quite nice. Oh. Chocolate's kind of melting my hands. Mm. Okay, next Kit Kat we have is the Hoji Cha Kit Kat. Hoji Cha refers to uh, roasted green tea. So if you usually have green tea, um, they are typically um, the Genmai variety, which is um, kind of like a pan fried, I believe, yeah, pan fried green tea. And mixed with a little bit of uh, roasted fried rice and a little bit of popcorn bits, uh, depending. You might notice that. So, the typical green teas that you might usually have uh, will brew kind of like a greenish, like a very amber color. And uh, with the hoji cha, which is a roasted uh, green tea, so the tea leaves are roasted. Um, and typically, this kind of tea has a more I guess well roasted flavor and and uh, the the tea the liquor will actually brew a pretty um, a much darker like a somewhere between an amber and mahogany kind of kind of color and it's a very nice um, warming sensation uh, with that sort of tea so this Kit Kat in particular um, mimics tries to mimic the uh, roasted green tea flavor, so the hoji cha flavor. So, and this one uh, looks like it's a white chocolate coating. Okay, and the chocolate seems to have uh, roasted the hoji cha mixed in there because it's a little, little brown uh, rather than white. And I can definitely smell the the tea. The tea flavor is very subtle. Um, I guess chocolate in itself, even white chocolate, which tends to be milder in flavor, um, has has a tendency to uh, have a very pronounced flavor. So this one, um, you get hit with that chocolate, the white chocolate flavor first, and then that tea flavor 
plays very subtly in the background and then it finishes stronger in the tea flavor. So it's actually quite nice. Um, but to me personally, um, as someone who don't take sugar in their tea, a sweet, uh, yeah, a sweet kind of tea flavor snack is a little odd to me. Um, I, it's not bad, but a little odd. Mm. Don't hate it. Okay, next we have the uh, I believe it's called what Aki Imo. Yeah, Aki Imo. So it's the autumn yam. Yeah, I'm like, what's an Imo? Uh, it's it's a yam. Yam. Yams. So autumn yam. And this one, of course, as the name suggests, uh, it was released uh, in, the, in the fall, I believe last year, which is when I spotted it in the supermarket. So this one came out with with the Halloween apple pie one yeah so they they released two two uh, autumn flavors that year so this one is a white chocolate cup covering it smells a little bit sweet hmm odd very sweet like yams are supposed to be sweet so I guess they they capture the essence of the sweet yam or sweet potato flavor and um, and then added with the sweetness of the white chocolate I think to me it becomes uh, quite sweet so mm, but it's uh, there's definitely that 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 yam flavor that sweet yam flavor sweet potato flavor is it yam or potato? What's the difference? I'm never sure what the difference between a sweet potato and a yam. But, you know, in Japanese it's called Aki Imo. Aki is autumn and Imo is the sweet potato slash yam. Whichever it is. I'm not sure. Okay, um... Next one. Next one. Okay, next one we have is the Yuzu Sake. Okay, Yuzu Sake. Uh, so sake is Japanese rice wine and this one is flavored with yuzu. Yuzu is a type of citrus and mm, it's on the sweet side as far as citrus goes. It's kind of like a lemony citrus. Um, not quite like a grapefruit. It's, to me, I would say it's more closer to like a Meyer lemon variety. Um, this one was brought back from Japan uh, by a friend of mine because it's really hard to get these uh, these sake ones, uh, these specialty sake ones here. Uh, so this one is a white chocolate coating. Mm, I like this. It already smells of lemons. mildly lemon flavor and a little bit of that mm, bitterness from the rinds kind of flavor and as far as sake goes I don't really taste much of it mm. yeah but I like lemons so I like this quite nice Alright, last one of today is the uh, Peach Mint Kit Kat and this one is one of their um, adult sweetness, so Otona no Amasa. Um, so it's supposed to be not as sweet as some of their other Kit Kats because um, when they say like adult flavor, they tend to tone down the sweetness. Um, I guess, you know, you, you guys might notice uh, the the Otona uh, kind of label uh, being used with I guess the latest running joke was McDonald's having released their adult cream pie so they use the Otona 
no cream pie or something like that. So it literally translates to adult cream pie, which, <laughs> um, but the point is, it's supposed to be not as sweet. Okay. Um, and so this one is premium peach mint. Mm. Premium. I don't know what makes it premium, but let's see. Um, so this one is a white chocolate covering with uh, things mixed into it. Uh, maybe it's mint leaves, but it looks like dark brown specks. I don't know. It smells minty, definitely. Mm. Minty, definitely. Um, the biscuits in the center looks green. Mm, I can feel the the mint, the coolness of the mint in my mouth as well. But where's the peach? Where's the peach? It's very subtle. Have to really look for it. Quite nice. I remember when I first tasted this one. Mm, it tasted pretty odd to me. I don't know why. Um, like the flavors were pretty off and imbalanced. But now, now when I eat it. Like just now, mm, it's not so off to me. Mm. It's actually quite nice. Um, yeah, that peach flavor comes as a finishing flavor. So you get the hits of the mint uh, first, and as you chew, and then when you swallow or towards the end, you start to taste that peach flavor. It's quite, quite nice. Mm. All right, so that is all our Kit Kats today. Um, so I think my favorite here today is, um, if you guys know, can you guess? Yes, lemons. I like lemons, so it's gotta be the yuzu sake. Okay, I like sake too. Um, sake, soju, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, but lemons and sake, it's a winning combination here. Um, and I think as far as, uh, you know, close second goes would be, um, the, the peach mint. I like how refreshing it is. Probably because, um, because, uh, of the weather here recently is pretty, pretty hot and getting close to being a little humid here. So, um, that refreshingness of the mint is quite nice. But in general, uh, lemons. Lemons are usually a winner for me. Okay. Um, so what what looks uh, appealing to you guys uh what do you think you know would taste good if you had had a chance to try it or you know which one do you want to grab and try as well um so make sure you leave that down in the comments below and of course uh, remember to check out my other videos of uh, kit kats chips and even tea reviews um and if you want to um, see more of these kind of videos, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. So until next time, take care.